More than 2,000 employees from at least eight different offices walked out of Google offices late in the afternoon yesterday. We first saw on Twitter that crowds were gathering just a few blocks from here on San Francisco's waterfront. So we headed out to Mountain View. That's what you're seeing right here, an aerial shot of employees gathered around campus. They had just heard from Google CEO Sundar Pichai, as well as co-founder Sergey Brin. Brin spoke about how he first came to the U.S. at six years old with his family from the Soviet Union. Pichai told employees... There's a lot of work that remains to be done. I think it's important that we stay the course and achieve an outcome. Now, the rally at Mountain View also featured an employee, an Iranian-born Canadian citizen who has lived in the U.S. for 15 years. She recounted her experiences of traveling abroad while she found out about the executive order and how she wasn't sure if she could come back. Now, that hit home for a lot of other employees who shared their thoughts with us. My mom owns a small business, my dad's an engineer, and I know that they really put a lot, like, they are the example of the American dream. We're all Americans, uh, and, and I think, you know, the, that, that's, uh, that's something that, that we all need to stand up and say. I'm the grandchild of immigrants, and um, I work with a large number of people who are immigrants who are here on visas or other types of, you know, temporary permits, and it's not something I can be silent about. Guys, the tech community continues to come out against the executive order reports that a group of companies are meeting today uh, to potentially file an amicus brief to support a lawsuit against the executive order. Back over to you guys. Yes, thank you, Deirdre. Um, Amazon said to perhaps uh, support some of those efforts in Washington state. Does that line up with your reporting? Yes, it does. We heard from... Uh, we heard an internal email from the company yesterday, which Jeff Bezos had sent out, and he said that they were looking into legal options. They were con in conjunction filing a suit in Washington, and that seems to be the next step in all of this. Tech companies, uh, because immigration is such a personal and critical issue to them, they're looking at ways of fighting this executive order. and. It may have just begun because, of course, uh, there's reports that the Trump administration is looking to draft an executive order on the H-1B visa program, uh, which would affect a lot of these big companies that rely on that visa to import foreign workers. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.